What are Docker network drivers? And how do they enable easy network configuration for containers? This video will try to answer that as simply as possible. Here's what we will discuss today. The container network model and network drivers, none, host, bridge, and overlay. This is the third video in the Docker networking series. Find links to the first two in the description below. If you are looking to learn more about the basics of Docker, I will recommend checking out the Docker Made Easy series first. Alright, firstly, it's good to know that networking in Docker is made possible by the container network model. The container network model formalizes the steps required to provide networking for containers while providing an abstraction that can be used to support various types of networks. CNN has three main components, sandbox, endpoint and network. A sandbox contains the configuration of the container's network stack. This means management of the container's network interfaces, its DNS settings, route tables, etc. A sandbox may contain many endpoints from multiple networks. An endpoint joins a sandbox to a network. An endpoint can belong to only one network and it can belong to only one sandbox if it is connected. A network is formed by a group of endpoints that are able to communicate with each other directly. You can think of the container network model as an abstract class that defines the required interface, whereas Network drivers correspond to the concrete classes implementing that interface. This is of course an oversimplification. So feel free to learn more about the design of container network model at the provided link. As users of Docker, instead of the detailed implementations of CNM, we should learn more about how to properly use Network drivers. Network drivers are pluggable interfaces that provide the actual network implementations for Docker containers. Docker comes with several out of the box drivers that provide the core networking functionality for many use cases like service discovery, encryption, multi host networking, etc. Then there are third-party drivers developed by plugin providers which are available for special use cases. Lastly, one can even build their own custom drivers if available ones don't suffice, although that will rarely ever be required. The four out-of-the-box network drivers that come with Docker are None, Host, Bridge and Overlay. When running a container, the network driver can be specified using the network option for the docker run command. This command runs a nginx container using the host driver in the background. It is interesting to note that a container is generally unaware of the network driver it uses, except when using the nun driver. So, how do each of the drivers differ? A quick reminder. A Docker host is a host or a computer running the Docker daemon. You can learn more about Docker's architecture in the link provided. The NUN driver simply disables networking for a container. 
making it isolated from other containers. When using the host driver, the container shares the network stack of the Docker host, appearing as if the container is the host itself from a networking perspective. The bridge driver creates an internal network within a single Docker host. Containers placed within this network can communicate with each other but are isolated from other containers not on this internal network. Bridge is the default driver when running single containers or when using Docker Compose. The overlay driver creates a distributed network that can span multiple Docker hosts. And therefore, this is the preferred driver for managing container communication within a multi-host cluster. Overlay is the default driver for Docker Swarm services. Alright, today we briefly learnt about the container network model and the main network drivers that Docker provides. In the upcoming videos of this series, we will explore each of the drivers in more detail. Being pluggable makes drivers highly extensible and portable. As a result, they allow the use of various types of networks and connect containers amongst themselves and with non-Docker workloads as needed. I honestly find great joy when my fellow engineers use container technology effectively to build awesome things. Thanks for making it so far. See you in the next one. Till then, be bold and keep learning. But most importantly, take care.